Welcome to Space Aid Boot Camp. At this station, you will receive an explanation, demonstration, and a practical exercise in military space available travel. Take out a pen and paper, prepare to copy, and hold all questions until the end. Let's get started. Welcome to the Space A Boot Camp video series. In our first video, we broke down how to conduct research to make your Space A experience more successful. In this video, we're going to be talking about the sign up. We're going to talk about sign up methods, sign up strategy, and ideas that can help you have a better Space A experience. How and when you sign up is very important, but I'm going to encourage you also, of course, to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be putting out other videos that can help you understand how to make the most of space available travel. Again, the purpose of the Space A video series is to give people a step-by-step -step overview of the process. In this video series, I'm going to have a sequence of videos that cover the topics of research, the sign-up process, marking yourself present and roll call, boarding your flight and travel advice, and finally arriving successfully at your destination. I hope you find this Space A Bootcamp series useful as you plan your next Space A trip. So let's get started and let's talk about the sign-up process. As you prepare to sign up for your first Space A flight, I believe there are five elements that are going to help shape you for success. First is your sign-up method of choice. Second, the timing of your sign-up. Third, your sign-up strategy. This is important. Fourth, confirmations. Fifth, and finally, tips and tricks. So let's talk about your sign-up options for Space A flights. I want to begin my remarks with the understanding that we're talking primarily about Air Mobility Command, or AMC flights. There's a difference between how the Air Force and how the Navy approaches the Space A process. Because the Air Force is the primary option, I'm going to be focusing first on AMC flights. The first way to register that I'd like to discuss is the Take a Hop app. This app can be downloaded to your iPhone or Android device. I'm bringing it up on my laptop computer just for instructional purposes. However, the app can only be downloaded to your phone. Here you can see that the asking price for the app is $6.99. And scrolling down, you can see the different screenshots of the functionality of the app. On the far left side, you see a detailed installation overview with map and a great deal of information about the installation. To its right, see the registration page. This section allows you to input all of your personal data required to register and what I really like about the app is that it retains and remembers the data so that you can register at multiple installations very efficiently. Once you filled out your registration data you can select the passenger terminals that you want to register for departure from. Then it's as simple as hitting the send button and the app will send the registrations to each of the passenger terminals you've selected for departure and copy you on the send so you have a copy in your inbox as well. You'll want to remember to print out a copy of the email that you sent for registration because if the passenger terminal loses it they will honor your registration date based on the hard copy that you have in your possession. What I like most about the Take a Hop app is that it's very, very user friendly. Another option for registering for Space A travel is to sign up directly on the AMC website. Scroll down and select AMC Travel Site. It's always a good idea to review the travel instructions listed here to know exactly what AMC wants from Space A travelers. And in this section you can access the automated sign up form or you can access the manual sign up form and download a PDF that you can fill out, scan and send. I personally think the automated sign up form is the way to go because it's the most efficient option. In this section you're going to see several disclaimers from AMC. 
It's really important to read and understand that they're providing this form as a convenience for us as customers. And if everything is working correctly, your completed registration form will be sent via email to the passenger terminal or terminals that you selected. But there is a possibility, for whatever reason, that email doesn't make it. Again, this is why you need to keep a copy with you when it's time for you to travel. Another item to be aware of is that your sign-up is good for up to 60 days, at which time you have to re-register. And at the bottom of the form, they require that we acknowledge that we've read the two statements listed here. Next, you're going to fill out the passenger information section of the automated form with your DOD ID number, which you can find on your military identification card. And no, this is not my actual DOD ID number. Then, of course, you complete your name, grade, branch of service, and space A category. And then the number of seats you require. If you're traveling solo, obviously that's one. If you're traveling with eligible dependents, it will be more than one. Then you'll complete the rest of the data on the form. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is a critical element that I want to highlight for active duty members. You must be on leave with leave orders in hand in order to register for flights. You'll probably be flying as a Category 3 with a higher priority than someone like myself as a retiree, but if you're traveling Space A, communicate with your chain of command so that they can understand what you're trying to do, and you can possibly flex your leave status as you monitor the 72-hour schedule before your go time. In this section, you'll complete your leave dates and then sign up for your departure location. The next section is country destination choices and passport clearances. If you're traveling within the continental United States or CONUS, this section is not necessary and you'll just indicate by selecting the CONUS option below. After that selection, your final task is to verify the information you input and check the is your information correct box then select submit and you're done. The next alternatives are to submit a manual sign up form, which is just a PDF version of the AMC 140 travel request form, or a simple email sign up with the information required as listed in that email section. When downloaded, the AMC 140 travel request looks like most any other military form. It can be downloaded, completed, scanned, emailed, or fax transmitted to your target passenger terminals. I probably would never use this method because I feel like it would be far less efficient. Timing your sign up is an important part of your Space Ace strategy. As I mentioned previously, your sign up is good for 60 days, at the end of which time your sign up expires and you have to resubmit. So if you know that you plan to travel Space A within the next 40 to 50 days, I recommend that you time your sign up about 40 to 50 days prior to your travel dates. That way, you'll be among the most competitive travelers in your category. You improve your odds of success dramatically by strategically timing your sign up date. So now let's talk strategy. We spoke previously about the strategy of timing your sign-up date. Another important part of your strategy can be the geography of your departure or return passenger terminals. Let's consider a West Coast departure to Hawaii scenario. Living on the West Coast and near Travis Air Force Base, I will probably always fly from Travis Passenger Terminal to Hawaii. I will also schedule my departure for my return from Joint Base Pearl Harbor Passenger Terminal well ahead of time so that I can be competitive, but I will be prepared to return to any of the West Coast Passenger Terminals if I can't get a direct flight to Travis Air Force Base. My plan would then be to fly commercially in order to get home on time if that's what my schedule requires. For an East Coast departure to European destinations, it might make sense to sign up at multiple 
if not all East Coast passenger terminals that have a history of scheduled flights to European destinations. As you watch the 72-hour schedules, opportunities for travel to European destinations can pop up unexpectedly. And if you're registered at multiple passenger terminals, you dramatically increase your odds of success. Once you're in Europe, then you can fly inexpensively on commercial flights to various European destinations. And finally, let's talk about confirmations and tips and tricks. The best way to confirm your sign up is to call the passenger terminal personnel directly and to ask them if they've received it. They'll check the computer, they'll let you know. You can pretty much count on never receiving a confirmation email that your registration was received and processed successfully. Even if you do talk to passenger terminal personnel and get verbal confirmation from them, it's still essential that you take a printout copy of your email registration with you when you travel. It should show their email address as a recipient email and the date that you registered. If you have that with you, they will honor the date of your sign up. And under the heading of tips and tricks, the best tip that I can give you is to use the sign up process that you have easy access to. If you're most comfortable using the Take a Hop app, use it. If you're more comfortable using the AMC automated sign up, use that option. But whatever you're most comfortable with, and last but not least, if you're traveling during PCS season or any other time there's high demand, my tip for you is travel light. There are occasions when another traveler who's in a more competitive classification than you has excess baggage and the weight restrictions on the aircraft require that those persons with excess baggage may not be able to take the option of flying. And given that you're traveling light with less baggage, you may very well get the seat. Sometimes the available weight in the aircraft can exclude those travelers with excess baggage from traveling. So the bottom line is, whenever you can, travel light. Please join us by hitting the bell button below for notifications and subscribing. That way you can be notified when we upload the next video in this series. Again, thank you for joining us. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on the beaches. Since we had our chance